this MG said SEV can do something that I cannot do with my Tesla. Mm. Driving makes you hungry. I feel for a hot dog. <laughs> I cook my hot dogs here in the forest. Well, the magic box, the vehicle to uh, load cable comes in hand here in order to boil my hot dogs. I got the original vehicle to load cable from MG. It's an extra device that you had to order on top of the car in order to get it. There is also several third-party cables available for the MG brand out there on the market. So what I have to do is to uh, open the charging port, open this one, and then this one looks approximately like a charging cable, but it's not a charging cable, it's a vehicle to load cable. So I connect this one in here like this and then I can make this a little bit longer here and we have this standard outlet here <coughs> looking like this. Now simply connect the plug but in order to get power in the socket there is a need to activate the function inside the car. Okay, in order to uh, start the vehicle to load function, you have to fire up the car and then you have to go to the home screen and go to uh, this uh, screen here and start discharging. And then you can uh, choose start discharging and then you hear some clicks. And discharging starts. Now <clears throat> you have to press this button, turn on, and then uh, I get power to my boiling plate. Okay, let's see what happens now if I turn this on. Trying to boil this water. This device pulls up to 2000 watts when working on maximum. That's impressive that the MG can deliver this kind of power. So it starts to boil here, the bread is ready and the hot dogs are ready. Is there anyone else who wants hot dogs here? Okay, so now the water is really boiling here, so we can put one hot dog into the, this one like this. We can take another one just for fun. There is another one coming here that wants to have a hot dog cooked from energy from the vehicle to load system from the MG set SEV. For how long time should these hot dogs be boiled then? Let's see here. What stands? Approximately six minutes. Start the timer now. Okay, the timer is ready for the hot dog. Let's see what have been the result. I think this is the first time I'm cooking in my Electric Earth YouTube channel.
Okay, it's not the best hot dog in my life that I made, but let's see how it tastes. Mm. It's warm. Mm. Yeah, very tasty. Mm. Okay. I believe this is it now, but do we have any power left in the car now to go home? Or did we drain the battery? Let's see. When I started the boiling, I had 78% in the battery. Now I have 77. I can boil many, many hot dogs for a long time. The car says that I can continue for 17 hours before I reach the limit when the discharge stops to not drain the battery completely. This opens up the possibility for several applications. One thing that many people believe is a problem with an electric car is that you can run out of energy in the battery. So, can I charge another EV with this cable? Yes, I have an EV to try. My Tesla over there from the MGZS EV vehicle to load box. So let's see what happens if I put this inside here. Like this. Tesla is waking up here. And uh, now we'll see if I connect this cable to the Tesla and see what happens. Okay, the indicator shows it's blue, but the reason that the car don't start charging is that I had scheduled the Tesla to start charging in the night. I have to remove that limit and start charge now to see if it works. So it says here that charging stopped and uh, I get this error message, unable to charge, charging station not powered, uh, charging equipment communication lost. So there is some kind of issue here with uh, charging directly from the MGZ-SEV. There is some problem here. It starts and then it stops. But do this give power here actually? It doesn't give power. Let's restart the discharging process from the MG and see what happens. But the strange thing is that this one now it's turned on. The lid is turned on there. And what is happening here? Are we starting charging? Yes, it starts charging actually. That's really, really cool. It starts charging. Let's go into the Tesla and see what happens. See, we are actually charging the Tesla from the MG. And the charge rate is the maximum that can be delivered via Shuko contact from the mobile charger, 13 amp. It's not fast, but it's charging. And if we look here in the MGZS EV, it's actually discharging and it's working. Uh, I'm surprised that this is the case. Uh, and you can see here also that you can continue to discharge like this for 13 hours and 19 minutes. It's possible to turn off the MG, lock it and leave it there and the discharging process will continue. That's good. But why was I so surprised that it was working? Well, the reason is that I had experienced that Tesla don't allow charging when there is no ground accessible. It was mandatory, otherwise the charging wouldn't start. I had this experience when I tried to charge from an outlet without ground connection. But what is this ground connection? Well, here in Sweden, if you look at the plug, there is this metal thing inside the plug that is connecting, uh, uh, the, making an electrical connection all the way through this electrical system to the ground, actually connecting uh, this into the earth. And this is a security uh, feature. So if there is something happening with the electrical machine that you are working with it will be not executing you 
when you're touching this metal device. Uh, but uh, the MG does definitely not have a connection like this to the ground. I have this device that is actually a measurement that is checking if I have a connection to the ground from a socket. Because sometimes there might be these devices here, but there is actually no physical connection. So if I connect this one here now, it shows all three lights eliminated, which means it's okay, we do have connection to the earth from this socket. But if we try the earth tester in the vehicle to load a cable, it shows only two lamps. It means no earth. It's kind of obvious that it can't be a connection from the car to earth, right? This ground connection is looking different in sockets all over the world. But anyway, you get the idea what it is. So maybe Tesla did some change to the software lately to accept charging without this ground connection. Nevertheless, charging like this is only for exceptional cases, when there is an emergency and there is no other way to charge a car. And it's definitely not very efficient to first charge the MG and then charge the Model 3 through the MG vehicle to load cable. I recommend to install and use a wall connector for the regular everyday charging. So now there is no argument against people that says that it's so problematic with EVs because if the battery runs out you can do nothing, just call the tow truck. But if it happens with a combustion engine car it's not a big deal, you just fill it up with a spare can. Well, you better have this spare can with you, or you better uh, have the, someone that is on the street helping you with this extra petrol. Anyway, now when uh, the situation is like this, I can just say that, well, I can borrow some power from another EV like my MG. And in the future, when more and more people come with uh, uh, electric cars on the roads that has this feature. It will never be a problem if you run out of charge in your car. There will always be some friendly guy there that just stop the car in front of you, connect the car from one EV to another one and let you some energy so you can drive to the closest charging station.